These here are little starter pellets. They're only like three dollars. And I'm gonna use these to start a whole bunch of my seeds. For three dollars, you get 36 pellets. It's a really good deal. I think it's a lot easier than you know buying your bag of starter mix or using compost because this is just you know a lot more simple. I've got one of these that I'm gonna recycle. I'm gonna put a dozen of those in here. So I'm gonna have a dozen starts in this little you know dessert container I got from work the other day. It has an ultra enclosing lid here and it has little areas here where I can put the water and let it drain down. It's pretty pretty nifty little setup here. And I'll go ahead and show you guys a time lapse time lapse I'll go ahead and show you guys a time lapse video of filling the pellets with water and putting the seeds in. Now that they've absorbed the water, you want to go and dump out the excess water. Now you just want to make little areas for the seeds to go into. So you don't have to be very deep. Maybe a quarter inch. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's tender green. Burpless. Um, very marks. And I'm gonna fill this whole container up with just these. I'm gonna put two or three seeds per container. Here's one of my, uh, after I start the seeds in the seed starting box. I uh, put them over here underneath this light here in the garage. These are all cherry tomatoes. They're the ones I saved last year. They're just kind of a test plant. And the one in the round, the ones in the round container, are uh, beefsteak tomatoes. They're uh, they're not a hybrid. So I've never grown non-hybrids because I like you know a lot of fruit. So we'll see how that goes. Those came free with my uh, Jiffy seed starting kit. And I've got a few other things like a bean. And... But these are they're probably a week from being out of those containers. So hopefully the weather changes and I'll be able to get them out there. 
here's my seed starting area. It's just a cardboard box I lined with foil. Put a light in there and it keeps it just the right temperature. As you can see, it's nice and humid inside of that uh, container. Right there, I've got squash and lychee tomato. And we're gonna add the two different types of cucumber. Here's the tender green cucumbers. Set it right on top of that one. And lemon cucumbers. Set it right on top of that one. So as you can see, plenty of room for other plants. I can actually go one more higher over there, but I don't have any more of those type of containers. But I'm going to put another one right here that's going to have 36 starts in it. That's here, just I take the bottom flap on the box, fold that up, and then I fold two center ones in. And then at the top right there, if you look right here, I've got some Velcro. And push it. And that's my seed starting area. Alright, I'll keep you guys updated. Thanks for watching.